something here with a deck of cards to try and influence you with some uh, psychology. Psychology. So, uh, tell you what, uh, here's what we're going to do. Card goes into the deck here. Now, if I push it through, so far, so what? If I push it through, some of you may see that it turns over, or appears to turn over. Of course, it's not really. It's uh, simply the power of suggestion. You'll need two playing cards to create a gimmick. So first take your scissors and to the best of your ability, try and cut out a profile of your wrist here. Cut that out and you'll have a little arc here. And then the other card, second card, you cut in half and then you tape it on here. So now I have a finished gimmick here. So as you can see, I have this arc here that fits my wrist and the second card is cut about two-thirds of the way with tape running right here and that's the gimmick to perform the trick you hold the card you come down kind of at an angle because that you want the wrist to catch this flap so let me show you from here you can see how to perform the trick what you're going to need is to create a card a gimmick card now this is actually two seven hearts you can use whatever card you like and I fold one of them in half and then it's glued right here so there's two layers here of the seven hearts an identical card 
I suppose it's kind of funny if you use the red and a blue card and the card would change colors. You could do that as well. But you just have this flap here and that's the secret. So with this gimmick card, it starts out with the flap like this and you could show it fairly freely. It goes on top of the deck, at least how I did it. You may come up with a better handling for this. Show the cards. Now, card is on top. Now what I did was, at least in my handling, is I dealt the top card off. And then, notice how I took the card off and then I grabbed it on the sides. The sides makes it a lot easier to handle. If you're holding it like this, it's going to be very tough to, uh, to probably handle and make do the move I'm going to show you in just a moment. By holding it to the side, see it allows that flap to dangle down a little bit, making it easy to grab and work with. And it's all covered under the hand here. Now before... I let the flap down. I showed the card by just going like this. And at this point, I am holding this thing down. Otherwise, it would look like this. I'm holding it down so I can show the face of a normal card, seemingly normal card. Now, when I turn it over, I'm letting, letting go and letting it dangle just a little bit. Now, here's the move. I went to reach over to grab the card and I reached here and with my fingers, I actually moved the flap over. So it, if you're looking for it, you'll see it's not quite normal because normally you just take the card like this. But I just take the card like this as if I'm handing it over and I've utilized the flap there. So bring it over and now it's turned over. Here, I'll give you the exposed view here, right there. Now it's already turned over goes into the deck. Now for display purposes, I'm holding the deck like this and then I can push the card through. Now, when I push it back, this is the flap side here. And then I turn it over and then I push it through and then it looks as if it turned over. You can do this either direction. This may even be the, a different direction than what I did in the presentation. But uh, it's up to you which way you like to uh, have this show up. Right there. And then, then you can, uh, as you can see, there's the flap there. You need to get it back to the other side. So show it, show it. Then what I did was I pulled it out here. Now this part is probably a little suspect. What I did was I just grabbed the card and turned it over and I did the same move. And I think in the presentation you could see me uh, changing the flap and certainly hear it if you're looking for it. But I grabbed it, moved it over and then closed the flap and then I just rested the deck on top. And that is the uh, reversing card.